Colorado Avalanche Hockey on Altitude is brought to you by Dodge. Visit Dodge.com or your local dealer today. Frost Brewed Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. CenturyLink, a trusted technology partner, frees you to focus on what matters. CenturyLink, your link to what's next. And by Shortline Subaru. Save money, drive better. Set to begin this home and home series between the Avalanche and the Dallas Stars it begins tonight here in Denver as we give you the Ford starting lineup. And we'll begin with the goaltenders who will start in tonight's game. We'll see about tomorrow. Yeah, we see, but we know Jaguar for sure tomorrow night for the Colorado Avalanche. We do not know about Ellis, but Kari Lettinen and Semi Barlana Mike, these are backbone goaltenders. Both of these guys can control games. As a matter of fact, their numbers when they have more shots are better than when they have fewer shots. But Barlamov coming just an outstanding effort last game against the Minnesota Wild in a tough, like, 2-1 shootout loss. Don't say that very often for, Bar for Barlamov. HD coverage tonight presented by Nova Home Loans, bringing it home to you in high definition. Oh, Michael. Michael. will start with the Matt Duchesne line. Here we go. Patrick Waugh is going. Duchesne versus Sagan. The line. These are the lines as far as the skill right now for these respective hockey clubs. And if they could, they wind it up, Mike, word for a great time. Let sends the puck around the glass. It clipped off the netting. And the puck has gone out of play. So just starting things, the Avalanche won the opening faceoff. And we'll have a draw down in the Dallas zone. It'll be interesting to see what kind of game we see tonight. The Dallas Stars are coming off a game against Winnipeg. Mike, they won 6-4. to four. This is a club right now that's playing great, great hockey on the road. And for Patrick Waugh's club, it's a situation where they're coming off a tough, hard-nosed 1-1 game through regulation and overtime against Minnesota. Well, and Peter, the Avs have not won in the last two games on home ice. We're going to have our first penalty of the game. It's going against the Avalanche, so the Dallas Stars will have an early power play opportunity. Colorado penalty 16, two minutes holding. This is Mike, this is just one of those ones that it, when Curry Sarge, Mike, started his career 15 years ago, that was a legal play right there. That would have been no problem at all, just getting in the way of the men. But the, the rules have changed over the course of time. Dallas two games Avalanche. against the Avalanche. 16, One, Sarge. four, six. Four holding. Loose puck in front, Finally, get back towards seconds. the point. The veteran, the Ray second. Whitney, shot blocker save made by Varlamov. And the puck is cleared out by the Avalanche. So an early power play chance for Dallas. They're coming off a game in which they scored six goals against the Winnipeg Jets on Wednesday, excuse me, on last Saturday night. Dallas is offside. The Avalanche were in Winnipeg the game before that and won it. And a very exciting 4-3 game for the Avalanche. So Winnipeg has presented these clubs with each of their last victory, both on the road in Winnipeg. They said they scored six goals in that game. It's the third time this season that Dallas has put up six goals in a game. And Mike, they, they are a club right now. If they get hot inside of a game, they can score a lot. Twice they've scored five, twice more they've scored six, and once they've scored seven so far this year. Corey Sarch on the power play. Excuse me, in the penalty box, putting Dallas on the power play. Ben moves the puck towards the corner. Back behind the net, centered in front, shot, big save by Barlamo. Gonshaw had four assists in the game on Saturday night for Dallas. Sends the puck across, stolen away by McLeod, and shot out of the zone. Well, Barlamo tested early, point blank chance for the Stars, and Barlamo comes up big. Steered to the corner, Avalanche on it, Benoit sends up the glass, that is blocked. 40 seconds left in the Sarge penalty. Tipped in front, cleared away by the Avs. Max Talbot, Eric Cole, pass side of the net. Back up high in the slot for Gunshard. And the shot by Eakin comes wide of the net. 
fleece for the Avalanche, trying to clear, does so, and it kicked off the skate of Max Talbot going down into the Dallas zone. 15 seconds remaining in the Sarge penalty. And off goes to Cody Eakin, drops the puck in the Avalanche corner. Johnson for Colorado, tied up in the corner. And that's it for the penalty. Sarge comes out. Dallas with three shots, one really great scoring chance of Barlamov. Snuffed the, the Dallas Stars on as Landeskog moves the puck to center ice. Pushing ahead into the Dallas zone. Olegoski trying to fend him off. Shrugged away by Landeskog, but the puck taken by Brendan Dillon. He'll send the puck to center ice. Pass across for Nate Gennon. Tyson Berry carries the red line. Back in the puck to the corner. Avalanche scratching the tonight. The Colton, Brad Malone, and Ryan Wilson. Now a coaching decision scratch for the last two games. And Coach Waz said that Wilson will not go on the trip, will not play in the game against Dallas tomorrow night, but he is getting closer to being able to play. Yeah, the back is better. It's just a matter of that condition, that NHL level conditioning. Hayden's pass goes over to Johnson. Pass up the ice for Duchesne. Tip back. Shot by McKinnon. Nice kick save by Lennon. And we've got another penalty call. Well, it's two in the first three and a half minutes of play. Avalanche have already killed a penalty. And now it's Colorado's turn to go on the power play. Five white, minor penalty tripping. Well, McKinnon just explodes into the zone. A little bit of a turnover. You see right in front of the net, Ryan O'Reilly was pulled down, and now the Avalanche get that power play opportunity. And Mike and boy, there's five games to go before Christmas. Would the Avalanche love to get this thing going? In the box. And even though he's sitting down, he looks like you know he's standing up because he's six foot seven, the tallest player to ever play for the Dallas Stars, Jamie Oleksiak. And I like him because he went to Northeastern University. I got to hear you talk about the Pioneers all the time. Finally, a Husky gets to play in a game against the Avalanche. And he's a Husky boy. <laughs> he's a Husky in more ways than one. So he's in the box, penalty. Shot off the side of the net. That chance by O'Reilly comes back to O'Reilly to the point. Barry, side of the net, Duchesne, a little saucer pass, got blocked in mid-air, and it's flanked off the boards and out by Antoine Roussel. They have score on the power play, a lucky winner. We'll get tickets to an upcoming game. For a chance to win, register at afwonline.com slash altitude. Pass across, Johnson shot, stopped by Lenton, and fuck backhand try goes high. On that opportunity for O'Reilly. After getting some chances around Lennon, McKinnon trying to work his way out in front of the net. Duchesne ends up with the puck. Pass across for McKinnon. Banked off his stick. Goes to the corner. Back to the high slot. 50 seconds left in the penalty. On Oleksiak. Back to the point. To Johnson. On top of the circle. His shot hit his teammate O'Reilly. Scoop to the corner. Pass in the slot. Picked off and cleared out by Dallas. Came to this game ranked 23rd in the league. Killing penalties. 28th on the road. Giving up 21 power play goals this season. So far, three shots for the Avalanche in this power play. They get it back into the Stars zone. Shot high over the head of Kari Lettinen. Put back to the point. Sent across for Stanton, the point. Shot by Benoit, goes wide. After it was tipped, Stanton plays it back to the far point for Jan Hayden. And the penalty is over. Shot by Hayden, and that one skimmed wide. Alexiak has the puck. Sends it ahead. And it's taken through center ice by Dylan of Dallas. So both teams with an early power play chance. Neither team able to capitalize, so it's still scoreless in our first period of play. That power play, something the Avalanche worked on for half an hour yesterday at practice, had good movement, and that's what you're looking for for the power play for the Avalanche. Good movement away from the puck. Dallas with the puck. Push 
to the neutral zone for Gunshark. Brings it into the end zone. Sent right back out by Gannon. Back to the Dallas zone. Sergey Gunshark. Long pass ahead. Chased down by Jimmy Ben. Centers in front for Sagan. His pass. Tipped away by Mitchell. The end. Racing through center. O'Reilly for Colorado. He's in. He shoots. And that one hit the arm of goaltender Kari Lettinen. Tipped out to center. Pass through the middle. Johnson will take it back into the avalanche zone. Pass into the middle for Duchesne. Back it up. Hayden. So four check pressure put on him. Is it across his own zone. Turn back for Hayden. And his pass. Got this, but O'Reilly's got it. Nice pass through the middle for Duchesne. Got McKinnon. There's the pass. And Horkoff coming back to help defend. Horkoff has the puck. He's the center ice for the red line. And then uh, surrounded by three avalanche players. Could not. Work his way through that little tank. And his shot out of play by, yep. by the Avs. No score in the first period in Denver. Back in a moment. We're back at the Pepsi Center. Dallas and Colorado is scoreless. And while back-to-backs aren't easy, the Avalanche seem to have them down. It's the fourth. This is the start of the Avs' fourth back-to-back. -back. And so far, so good. They are 5-1 and one in those six games. 2-1-0 in the first game. Perfect 3-0 and oh in the second. They're only lost to Edmonton in December. Colorado will play a total of 10 back-to-backs this season. Now, Patrick Waugh says he loves back-to-backs as long as he wins both games. <laughs> right? <laughs> play three in a row if he won all three, right? Yeah. Just to know this, San Jose and the Avalanche play the fewest back-to-backs in it, being the number of people, 10. Two minutes for the Avalanche. Probably left it for that television timeout. John Hayden. Being uh, sent to the penalty box, delay of game penalty, shooting the puck over the glass out of his own zone. That penalty called at 7 11. And Dallas on the power play, the second time in his first period. So we've had three penalties called already. The puck is tipped down the boards by Chazon. To Ben, centering try, hit a avalanche stick, chopped away by Talbot out of the zone. Gonchar back to retrieve the puck. Gonchar to the red line. Makes the pass for Whitney. His shot on net. Right against the post with Barlamov to make the save. Plus for three. In the corner, Ben had it. And Whitney for Dallas. And Ryan shot it. Played off the boards by Johnson and then shot down by Mitchell. And McLeod, the only player coming down for the puck, Letton. Banked it off the boards for Gonchar. One thing about letting it with the puck, Dallas doesn't get too worried in that kind of situation. He's so good with the puck. Darren down the wing. Backhand try and the save made by Semyon Barlamov. Colton Sevier with that opportunity for Dallas. Goligoski carrying the puck to center. Put it back behind him for Eakin, trying to split through the defense. Get to the face-off circle. Back to the point. Oligoski gives to Eakin. Pass in front. Tipped wide of the net. Way back towards the point. Goligoski, that was a nice effort to hold that one in. Put to the corner. Peverly for Dallas. Slid the puck in front. Out of the box comes Hayda. Charging after it. After the Avalanche killed the second penalty of the game. Dallas 0 for 2. Just a couple of shots on that power play opportunity. And we're still scoreless. Just about halfway through our first period. What? Steal. Centering pass. Picked off by Parento. Fed up ice for Stasny. On to Landeskog. And he is shot tipped wide of the net. Put on net with a backhand try by Landeskog. Put off the boards. Sent into the avalanche So. Behind the net, scooped out in front, steal made by Landeskog. Up by Parento, back to Landeskog. Then over the line, Stasny pass all alone in front, Parento! And Letton came out. The poke checked that away. Back for Ben, and he shoots the puck up the board, but not out. Duchesne cutting down the middle, and he ripped the wrist shot that goes wide. Back to the corner, Dillon for Dallas. Up the boards. Sagan would not break through. Avalanche gets the puck back 
9.30 left in the first period. No score. Duchesne dropped it. McKinnon shot. Score! Top right hand corner with a beautiful shot. <laughs> McKinnon with his seventh of the season. Boy, that was a thing of beauty. I tell you. We're going to enjoy this this pair. If, you know, if they play together a lot or if they're just, you know, center icemen together. Duchesne, who had a terrific shift start to finish on this particular effort for the Avalanche. Right, did you see him sense people pull away? All of a sudden, Duchesne and Arati pull everybody in. There was no panic. Head up, walked in. Those extra five feet allowed him to get into that prime scoring spot. Right there, he should have shot. No, wait. Wait, wait, and then boom. And then up over the glove hand of Lettman. Like that was in and out before you even knew. The Rams get the first goal of the game. They lead it one to nothing. First five, seven, ten games of the season, Mike, that misses the net and rims around the glass. He's, he's relaxing with the clock. Let's go back and look at it again. And you know, you see, you see it in practice. He is so comfortable with the puck now. And now inside of these games with Duchesne driving, O'Reilly driving guys back. I mean, he just waited, Mike. And when you wait, you relax like that. Your natural hockey abilities take over. And that's what we're starting to see from Nathan McKinnon. Here's the scoring summary. 10.38 the time. Seventh goal of the season for Nathan McKinnon. Matt Duchesne, Corey Sarch, now make it four games in a row for Corey Sarch with an assist. He continues his career best and is now a career best in terms of a point streak for Corey Sarch. And for Matt Duchesne, his 11th assist of the season is 25th point. Avalanche doubling up in shots on the Stars, 10 to 5, and now have the lead in the game. Oligoski's pass for Peverly. Sent across the rink. Dragged in to the corner. Then behind the net, Peverly pinned against the boards by Gennett. Peverly trying to get away. Gennett staying with him. Kicked back up the boards. Lift it back behind the net. Barry on it. Whitney for Dallas. Mitchell trying to steal the puck away. He does. Played off the boards and got it out of the zone. Oligoski slugs the puck across. Sent over the line for Whitney. Dropped it behind him. Shot missed the far side. Whitney plays the puck back out into the center zone. Dillon will carry in. Dallas is offside. We'll return to more action in the first period in Denver. The rookie, Nathan McKinnon, with his seventh of the season. Well, Michael, it's been one of the most impressive years in recent memory as far as young players stepping in. I mean young players, 18 years old, stepping into the league. Val Nechuskin for the Dallas Stars has really started to pick it up of late eight points his last seven games. Nathan McKinnon, Mike, set, there have been seven 18-year-old players score their first NHL goal this year. Seven. I remember seeing Ray Bork break into the league, and I thought he would be the only 18-year-old I, I ever see break in. But you look at McKinn is not even actually the youngest. Markov of Florida is the youngest by a day. And, and again, Michael, it's not just like you see McKinnon now. We, we're watching him. The importance he has, the role he has on this team. He's not a fourth line player. I mean, he's a top line player, and his production is important to the Avalanche. And his goal has given them the one nothing lead here in the first period. Corey Sarge lifts the puck back to the Dallas zone. And it's cold icing on the Avalanche. 7-13 to go in the first period. Well, we had those three power plays, Mike, or three penalties taken in the first seven, eight, nine minutes of the game. That sometimes can, can break up the flow. I think this is the first time we're seeing the leash line out for the Avalanche. You know, you like to get everybody involved early if you can, and those penalties took away a little bit of that. Here with that goal by McKinnon, 
gives him 19 points all by himself in second place among the rookie in scoring trailing only hurdle in San Jose who we will see next Monday the avalanche are playing their last game before the Christmas break here's that list of the young players Mike and again it's just how how good are some of these young guys going to be hurdle of course a big part of the San Jose club that's very good be interesting to see them for the first time that's one of the clubs the last club in the West that the Avalanche haven't seen so you're saying he just has one more hurdle to go yeah, to take was, the rookie scoring I, lead. I saw the look in your eye and I go oh here it comes all season <laughs> all season long I can't wait till it's that like night. I'm gonna be it's like the Edwin Moses yeah. it's just hurdle after yeah. hurdle. Yeah, it, 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 he has that lead that'll be a nightmare that night <laughs> Behind the net, O'Reilly trying to center, but the skate of Sagan. Dropped it in the corner, Ben. Out to center. Whipped off the boards by Johnson. Tapped the head, Duchesne steals, bouncing puck. Fields across for Hina. But it's clear the zone to get it out. Little tip by Eric Johnson. And it comes to O'Reilly, immediately feeds it up ice. Parento drops the puck to the corner. Adds up one nothing. Nathan McKinnon, the seventh goal of the season. Matt Duchesne, Corey Sarge, assisting for the goal coming at 10:38. Pass to center for Sagan. Barry, a sharp pass for Landeskog. Gets it back from Stafford. To the point for Gennett. Slides it across for Barry. High in the slot for Landeskog. Adams really moving the puck around the Dallas zone. Back to the point for Barry. Wrist shot. Slowed up in front. Landeskog chased the puck to the corner. Taken from him by Egan. Slides it up the boards. Stays on immediately tied up by Barry. And Egan works the puck free. But Gennon's got the angle. He's back for the puck. Dropped from the corner for Barry. A vice for Stanston. Pass to center ice. McGinn gets checked off the puck. Sent to the corner. Nice pass in front for Mitchell from Talbot, but it slipped away. Benoit pitches in. Keeps the puck in the Dallas zone. To the point for Sarge. Slides it over to Mitchell. Rich shot. Gets blocked. One handed back behind the net. Turnover. Mitchell has it toward the avalanche. Back to the point. Shot by Sarge to the one timer. That one deflected off the goaltender letting it. What a shift here. Sequence of players coming on the ice. A continuous shift, if you will. Keeping the puck inside the zone. But this line of McGinn, Mitchell, and Talbot. Night after night, this is what they do. They scored the lone goal for the Avalanche. Talbot last game against Minnesota. But it's that pressure that they put on. It is like it just doesn't stop. Pass through the neutral zone to the Avalanche end. Sagan. Nice pass. Shot by Ben. Gets blocked. Held in by the Stars. Shot tipped wide of the net. Get it. Run it clear. Sagan. Set to the side of the Avalanche net where Hayter will take it. Gives to Johnson. Rolls free. To the point for Dillon. Cuts across. Looking for an opening. Gets it back. Pass down the middle. Bouncing right on target. And Varlamov. Has got it for a face off in the Avalanche zone. Nathan McKinnon is giving the Avs a 1 0 lead. Let's play Did You Know? Stevenson Automotive bringing you this Did You Know question. How many Stanley Cup champions are there in tonight's lineup, including the Avalanche and the Stars? Not including, though, the coaches. Is it C1 2, C2 5, or C3 7? Or people well, give you an answer in the third period for people in the broadcast booth because I I would be zero. Zero? <laughs> <laughs> Stars have the puck in the avalanche zone, but the avalanche have the lead. One nothing. Nathan McKinnon with the goal. 10-38. Off the side of the net. Pops up in the air. In fact, goes out of play. Just a quick look now. The, the Dallas Stars are already injured on the back line, but Aaron Rome comes across. Now, he's only played a couple of games this year for Dallas, Mike, and he went right off and then went down into the locker room, and 
you know, it looked like he was the one that was putting the hit on Jamie McGinn, but, but McGinn's a big body. And it, it looked right there like Rome, Mike, something wasn't right when he got to the box. Now, now they're going to be down to five. And Robodon broke his leg. Daly out of the line. These are big players for the Dallas Stars. Where he starts circling his own net, coming out to center ice. Shoots the puck into the Dallas zone. Dallas 15, 11, and 5 this year. 35 points. They're fifth in the division. The Avs are 21, 9, and 1. 43 points. Stop by Cooney Lexus during the December to Remember sales event for exceptional offers on new Lexus all wheel drive sedans and SUVs. Luxury has an address. Cooney Lexus of Greenwood Village and Colorado Springs. Just talking, Mike, maybe you know that to see what Lindy Ruff is going to try to do to get the Duchesne line off the ice. They've had nine of the 11 shots so far for the Avalanche. McKinnis had jams in front, stuffed by Lettinen. There's going to be a penalty. And it's going against Dallas. All of a sudden, there was a great scoring chance for the Avalanche, and they didn't get the goal, but they're going to get a power play. Dallas penalty number 55, minor penalty for hooking. Good work for the Avalanche. The Avalanche have been very aggressive down low. All lines, all four of the lines for the Avalanche have had the puck down low. Good work. Dallas penalty. Sergey Gonchar. A hooking penalty at 16 to 59. Traded back and forth on power play chances. Stastny centers for Landeskog. Back to the point for Benoit. In the slot back high for Benoit. Cross to Stastny. Parento. Benoit shot. Landeskog tried to tip in front, but the puck went high. There's a hit in the corner. It's going to be another penalty on Dallas. Dillon's hit on Tyson Barry. Results on another penalty. So here comes a five on three chance for the Avs with a minute 22 left in Gonchar's penalty. Dallas penalty number four, minor penalty for boarding. Well, Brendan Dillon, like, he, it, it's a great start. He was a free agent that signed with Dallas. He has taken himself like into a real prominent role with the Dallas Stars, but he plays on that edge where he is going to, I mean, he loves to make the big hit. Every once in a while, you could have put your team in a hole like this. Five on three. For the Avs for a minute 22. Benoit will pick up the puck. Parento slides it across. Back to the point. For Barry. Stasty to Barry to Benoit. They crisscross. Barry, one timer, save off the chest. There it is. And wow, what a save by Lettinen. Looked like Stastny had it. Wide open net, and Lettinen cut across and uh, stacked the pads and made the save. Five on three. One of the one of the things you want to do is you want to start to pinch things to down towards the middle. They have to do a nice job. Tyson Barry doesn't fool around. Like there was no look to see what I should do. He just unloads right here. The Avalanche have bodies down low, and Lennon just holds off Stastny in the Avalanche. 45 seconds left in the two-man advantage. McKinnon to Johnson. Down low, McKinnon. Back to Johnson, top of the circle. Tip, sends the puck towards the net, but wide. Back around as it runs to the near side. 25 seconds left in the two-man advantage. McKinnon. Save made by Lettinen. Rebound to the corner. Tip three. Dallas able to wave the puck to center ice. Goligoski got into the middle zone. Didn't get it deep, and then the Avs get quickly back into the Dallas end. McKinnon has the puck. Two-man advantage is done. Shot, pass, save, made by Lennon. Shot, and that is stopped again by Lennon. Lennon without a stick. There's going to be another penalty. And it's going against the Avalanche. Matt Duchesne is going to go to the penalty box, so that negates the rest of the 
power out of play chance. Nine, for the A Hooks are now 0 for 3 tonight. We weren't able to score in that minute 22 of 5 on 3. Well, inside of this game, we haven't, we, Mike, we haven't played that much of the game, just about one period, and there's a, been all of these ebbs and flows through power plays and really the spot that's been the penalty killing for both clubs has been so impressive. A hooking penalty called on Duchesne in 1914. Avalanche penalty, number nine. Sagan has the puck, four on four hockey. Sagan cutting across, high in the slot, moving down. He shoots, shot, scores! It was tipped in front, and on that four on four play, the Dallas Stars have tied this game at one. Well, great. We talked about some people at the start of the show. One of them was McKinnon, and he showed us the goal. Another one was Sagan. Like, watch this pass. Look at all of, look at all of the things there is to, you know, be in the way of what your vision is and where you're going to move the puck. And all of a sudden, he just explodes across. He's going to come across the blue line. Boom, right here. He's got the man chasing him. Here he comes. Protect the puck. Now he looks up, like, where does he see the man? I, you can't even see him look over. You can't even see him look over. Bang, right on the tape, and the score is tied. What a incredible switch here inside of this game, Mike. But the Avalanche had a five on three. They're looking to take a two goal lead late in the period. Dallas instead ties it up. And that goal in the first in the NHL for Kevin Kanat. And that tied it up at one. And now the Stars are on the power play. Long pass. Here's a breakaway chance. Oh, big save. Rebound shot. That's caught by Varlamov. Breakaway chance for the Stars. And Varlamov, brilliant save to keep it a 1-1 game. Well, where the Avalanche will be upset on this, Mike, is the man's coming out of the box. He, this guy should not have been this open. I mean, it wasn't a situation where they were an odd man, you know, on the ice. They were just then getting back into the play. And Mike, the, the, the second one, this is Goligoski, right across this. Watch how close this one comes as it goes back across. Well, you sort of love him look at his glove yeah. almost like, yeah, I thought I had it. <laughs> now watch here again. This will be the second look. Watch again. The puck comes across. Mike, that, did that hit the post? Boy, it was right near the yeah, line, too, oh. when you see Barlamov move a little bit off. They're going to have to check this to make sure, but... I, I think it's supposed, and that's what I'm Merry Christmas hoping. No, it'll be the far post that we were looking at. Yeah, that does hit the post, but man, that was they landed on top of Barlamov. Dropped it, down on his back, Mike. But never went over the line. <laughs> Could not have been much closer than that because it was a horrible angle. There wasn't really anywhere to shoot it, and it just ricochets off the post, lands on top of the goaltender. That would have been a bad way to end this period. Oh, man, that, it just, Mike, doesn't roll. How it doesn't roll down and in is unbelievable. Now, that will not be a goal. No, but it, oh my goodness. In a period where the Avalanche make, right now they're seeing 21 shots on goal for the Avalanche with the power plays that they had. Well, that just, it hit, it hit it, off it, the inside part of the post and just dropped straight down and not beyond the goal line. And you can see it after Varlamov moved a little bit away from the net. So this will not be a goal. It'll still be a 1-1 game if we expect as we get the announcement here momentarily. After further review, the puck never crossed the goal line. We have no goal. That was such a funny play, Mike. I don't think the referee made a signal one way or the other. I think that was just kind of this strange kind of play that happens every once in a while where it almost went in, but you didn't see it. Face off, and the puck pops into the netting over the glass. They'll redo the face off from the same spot. Stars on the power play. Third time in the game. 
We've got a four on four goal. I want to put the time back on the clock, perhaps. But why? I mean, it was illegal. No, no it's going to stay in yeah. 10 seconds. Illegal. They dropped the puck yep. and it was knocked out of yep. the uh, ring. So no change. Avalanche. And possession. Shot out by Colorado. That's going to eat up the rest of the time. Stars get to mid ice in a couple of seconds. They'll take one last shot. And that one bounced into the corner off for Varlamov. We've come to the end of the first period. Well, we've seen some young players score here tonight as uh, McKinnon gets his seventh of the season and Connaughton with his first ever NHL goal. A nice pass by Sagan, but the Avalanche, Mike, you look at the first period with the power plays situating that 21 shots on goal. Lettinen made some remarkable saves in that first period. He was good. And Varlamov did his thing as well. One goal for each team. And it's tied up at the end of the first period of play. Stay tuned for the Toyota Intermission Report. Avalanche and Dallas tied at one at the end of one period of play. Avalanche had 21 shots during the first period of play. The majority of the shots came from the Matt Duchesne line. Yeah, and to put that in perspective, the Avalanche had 27 shots in 65 minutes of hockey against Minnesota. But Mike, when you, but what, what's really interesting about this line, and it's been put together over the course of the last few games, the nine line, number 90, Ryan O'Reilly, number nine, Matt Duchesne, number 29, Nathan McKinnon. Mike, these are all very natural center icemen. We got the right-handed shooting, Nathan McKinnon, left-handed shooting O'Reilly and Duchesne. When you're watching the goal that is scored, you're going to see McKinnon. Now, where is he? He's all the way over on his off wing. Duchesne is cut through the middle. Nice pass by Sarge. Springs him, but he's going to use his speed. To me, the, the whole key to the line and what's going to make it work one way or the other is going to be Ryan O'Reilly. He doesn't get an assist on this. He doesn't get a point. There's a great shot by McKinnon. But McKinnon is too young, Mike, to, to sort of harness his talent. You've got to let him go. So I, you watch O'Reilly, Mike. He's the one that's assessing everything. He's not as fast as the other two. He knows that. So they're up front, and he's coming from behind. He's going into those soft spots in behind, and he is the one that really it has to read everything so well because the other two are just about get it and go. And, you know, again, it was an impressive first period for that line. 13 shots on goal. Out of the 21 shots, 10 of them came on the power plays for the Avalanche, in which they had three, including a minute and 22 of five on three hockey. But this game tied up and won a late goal by Kevin Connaughton in 1927. As we start the second period, Dallas is on the power play. Avalanche clear. Letting it was sensational at times during the first period. Needs the puck behind the net. Fred Gonchar to take. Dropped it behind him. Tyler Sagan. Drive the puck to the corner. Ben comes after it. He leaves it behind the net. Dallas fights for the puck. We've got it. Sagan. Back behind the net for the pass. Or Chazon. To the slot, and it slips between the two defensemen. 30 seconds left in the Duchesne hooking penalty. Good work from Cleish and Talbot, and they push the puck into the center zone. Back to Cleish, chopped away from him, but Hayden drills it towards Lettman. And Gunchar will scoop up the puck. Played it ahead as Duchesne set to come out of the penalty box. And both teams have had three power play chances, and neither team has been able to score on the power play. Went down the wing. Shot by Peverly, save made by Barlamov, and the puck immediately cleared out by the Avalanche. The whistle's been blown, and the Avalanche are called for icing. Michael, we, 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 we talked about O'Reilly and Duchesne now in their fifth year. There's he's getting sort of bumped up top. There's a the little hook 
Now, he, uh, Duchesne doesn't agree, but watch the referee do a great job with Duchesne. Duchesne also, he didn't, Mike, he didn't go after him. He just wants an explanation. The referee, Mike, if you talk the right way to a referee, you can get your point across. If you go in there and you try and show him up, you're going right back in for another one. Shot, and that one missed the net. Back around, and the puck comes out to center ice. Turn to the corner. Good pressure from McGinn. Gives the puck to Mitchell. Put it back in the corner. Bouncing puck. Slugged that by Cole. And a chip off the glass gets the puck out of the Dallas zone. But the stars are called for icing. To learn about your new health insurance options, check out Connect for Health Colorado. Online at connectforhealthco.com or call the customer service center. Buy today and be covered in January. Well, you got the penalty out of the way now. Let's see if this game settles down into a more of a five-on-five -five game. Barry sends the puck to the corner. Parento centering pass. The net has come off. The moorings and that draws the whistle. A couple players behind the net pushed it. We know for a fact that tomorrow night it's going to be Jaguar for the Colorado Avalanche in nets. At least that's what Patrick Waugh has said he is going to go with Jaguar on the road. But Ellis may play. Played. Ellis did play the first game against the Colorado Avalanche. A 3-2 win for Colorado. Goligoski rips the puck around the boards. Stars maneuver out to center ice. Carried by Roussel. High in the slot, backhander floats wide of the net. Goligoski keeps the puck. Tends to go back behind the net. Centering pass slipped away. But Dylan holds it inside the blue line. His shot blocked in front of the net. Portolo. Porkoff makes the steal, and a tip sends the puck to center. Turn back across, Goligoski, long pass, and into the zone, behind the slot. Circling back behind the net. Shot saved me by Barlamo. Veer, forced back to the blue line. Delayed penalty, coming up on the avalanche. Gunshark sends the puck across. And it's touched by the Avs. And another penalty on Colorado will give Dallas their fourth power play chance of the game. Well, against Mike, Minnesota, which was a, a very close checking game. There were a grand total of three power plays last game. And tonight, there you were, were just three and a, three and a bit minutes into this second period. What's the seventh power play overall? Correct. Fourth for Dallas. The Avalanche have had three. High sticking penalty called on Tyson Berry at 317. Olegoski sends the puck behind him. Cody Eakin skates down the middle. He shoots safe. Made by Barlamo. And the rebound is sent out of the zone by the Avalanche. Oligoski will make it past the red line. Shoots it into the Colorado zone. He can give him chase with Sarch right on him. Round for Cole. Played to the point. Cole with the puck. Protects it along the boards. Coming to the front of the net. Trying to slip the pass. Blocked. Kept in high in the slot by Goligoski. Quick pass into the corner. Shot saved. Made by Barlamov. Turn back up the boards. Machushkin. Trying to cut in front, he does, he shoots and misses wide. It bounced off the of Barlamo. Majuskin gets the puck to Peverly in the slot. One-timer, blocked in front. Egan couldn't get to the puck, and it is shot down the ice by the Avalanche. Oh, my, Corey Sarge. I know, got yeah. away with one there, maybe. <laughs> Did you see his body language? Oh, he yeah. thought that he had taken one. It was just in a funny spot for the referees to see it. Flipped it over the line. Spun it back by Gannon. That puck will bounce wide of the net. Mitchell. And bend to the corner. 
Whitney has the puck for Dallas. Slides it ahead. 20 seconds left in Barry's penalty. Chase on after the puck. Goals behind the net. Get it. Turns it around the boards. Gonchar waiting. Slides it across to the far point. To the circle. Whitney's pass. Towards Sagan. Tip back to the point. A couple seconds left in the penalty. Chazon's pass slipped across. Barry's out of the box. Power play is done. Shot from the point. Tipped on net. And Varlamov sharp to make the save. Well, in the first period, it was Lettinen who was doing a great job. Like that one almost bounced across and in. Varlamov, who Mike, we saw in the first period, had that one hit the post and come across. Here's Sarge right here. Watch the body language. Like, oh boy, what's going to happen here? And then all of a sudden, it was not detected. Well, the Barron's penalty is over. Power play done for Dallas. Shot saved by Varlamov. So the Stars over for four tonight. Good penalty killing from Colorado. As the Avs are offside going into the Dallas zone. What a different Jan Hayda back in the lineup makes for the Colorado Avalanche. It's when he was out, Mike, the, the penalty killing just wasn't as solid. There's just no there's just no getting around it. Last game for Hayda, he played 25 minutes with 50 seconds, three hits, a block shot. Mike is and then Minnesota only had one, but they didn't score on the on their power play. And tonight again, nothing against the ass power play. Pass out to center ice. Tipped ahead by Ben to the corner. Jason for Dallas. 1-1 game in the second period of play. Both goals coming in the first period. Nathan McKinnon scoring at 10-38. From Duchesne and Sark and Connaughton. Sagan and Goligoski in 19-27. That was a four-on-four -four goal. We're tied up at one. A lot of power play chance in this game, but neither team able to score with a man advantage. Oh, check at center ice, but Johnson corrals the puck. Shoots it ahead for Landeskog. He's in. He shoots. That was tipped high off the glass. Put into the corner for Landeskog. Pass in the high slot. And that one uh, rockets back in to the Colorado zone. Malama will set it up. 22 shots for Colorado. They've had just one in the second period. They had 21 shots in the first period. Now 16 shots for Dallas. Andre Benoit, as defenseman, shooting the puck to center for O'Reilly. On to Duchesne. Down the slot, Duchesne turns and shoots. That's blocked. Eakin will take the puck for Dallas. Flipped out to center. Takes a bounce for Eric Cole. Got Goligoski with him. Spins. Turns back towards the boards. Pass into the slot for the defenseman Goligoski who jumped up in the play. Cut away from him. Pass out to center. Cole finds Eakin. Tripped away by O'Reilly to McKinnon. Pass in the slot for Duchesne. Chopped out to center ice by Dallas. Barry being pressured. The puck moves back in. Centered out in front. Hit back into the corner. Tyson Barry for the Avalanche. Up ice for McKinnon. Rolls past him into the center zone. Oleksiak. The puck into the Colorado zone. Eric Johnson's pass. Takes a bounce. And right back out to center ice by Dallas. Lifted in wide of Lettman. Gonchar's pass. Oleksiak to center ice, tipped on into the zone, brought to the front of the net, and put it to the side, Peverly. Centered in the slot, and it slipped by everybody. Back out to center ice and into the Dallas zone. Dallas is having a very solid period defensively. Field by Talbot to give to McGinn. This line continues to be effective for the Avalanche. Pass over to Ginnon. Tipped on net by a diving Jamie McGinn. Scooped up by Talbot. Turns and shoots. Paul Stastny tipped in the puck. The score is ninth of the season. And the Avalanche has their second lead of the game. It's two to one. Well, it wasn't the complete line, but two thirds of the Talbot McGinn Mitchell line come up with a big play. And Stastny on the far side. Now, it was Stastny who had two goals last time these two clubs met.
one of them being the overtime game winner gets a big one here. Because Dallas was starting to sort of slow things down a little bit, set the tempo, and now the Avalanche gets that lead. And Talbot might, I think McGinn is going to get an assist on that as he yeah. tipped it to Stastny. Sure did. And now Mike for Talbot to, you know, a little while to get going offensively. Now four points in the last six games. Paul Stastny! Paul Stastny's ninth of the year at 8.29. And the assist to uh, Max Talbot and Jamie McGinn. Time to go in eight minutes, 29 seconds of the Avalanche back on top, leading it two to one. Talbot and McGinn at 29. Beautiful. Landeskog to the point for Johnson. Around the shelf, up the far side. Johnson flagged it down, gave to Landeskog, sends it over the line. The Avalanche come right back into the Dallas zone. Pass by Parento, blocked. Landscott to the point. Eric Johnson wrist shot to a lot of traffic. And it's turned to the boards. Juskin to Dillon. A vice for Sagan. One on one with Johnson. Drop pass for Ben. Throws back to the blue line. Puck to behind the net. Takes on. Stripped to the puck by O'Reilly. Turned up the board for Duchesne. Pass to center, Parenteau's got a man up ice. Hayna stretches, his shot tipped wide. O'Reilly fires a pass off of uh, Duchesne. And McKinnon looking for a tip in front. And back towards the high slot for McKinnon. To Benoit, his shot off the shoulder of Goligoski and out of play. Paul Stanley with the goal. His ninth of the season, it's 2-1 Colorado. Well, it feels awfully good for Paul Stassi to get that goal. Big goal for the Avalanche in this hockey game. Last time these two clubs played against it was down in Dallas. Stassi was, like he was terrific that night. It was his best game of the season. Right into overtime where he wins it for the Avalanche with that quick snapshot. And he gets one here tonight in the Avalanche. Like they right the ship here in the second period. We're just about exactly halfway through this game. The Avalanche had a lot of shots in the first period. A five on three, they had only one goal, but now they're back on top. For Stassi, his last goal came November 19th. There have been nine games with that one, so Paul Stassi feels great. Back on the uh, score sheet with a goal. They give the Avalanche the lead. It's 2-1 Colorado. 41 combined shots, 22 of those have come on the power plays tonight. Seven power play chances between these two teams but no power play goals. Duchesne with the puck. Went off the boards. O'Reilly moves the puck behind the net for McKinnon. And the center, and it's tipped by the goaltender Lennon. Set up the ice. Rich Peverly, angling across over the line. He shoots wide of Barlamo. Drops in the corner. Back to the point. Goligoski, poke checked away. McKinnon's gonna have a breakaway. Here comes Nathan McKinnon. Saved by Lettinen. And he slides the puck back behind the net. Play continues. Set up ice. Mike, he's on you so quickly. At the, at the blue line, that's where he made the play. He's on the guy so fast. And then there's not a panic, but then you're just in trouble. And he, like, once he poked that puck puck, he's, he's just gone. He's, there's no chance going to get Next week, maybe, when he comes, he's coming back into town. Maybe tomorrow, the night in the home-and-home home series, you get him. Tomorrow night in Dallas. That puck stays in that side. They're lifted up near the glass. Gunshot will carry into the Colorado zone. Flip to the corner. One handed behind the net. Orkoff feeds to the point. Cut by Gonchar wide. Blocked at the post. Centered out in the slot. And it comes to Mitchell, the avalanche. Backhand through the middle for McGinn. Gonchar on him. Driven behind the net. Mitchell for Colorado. Handoff goes to Johnson. Throws it across far circle. Off of Parento to Landeskog. Back to Parento in the corner. Eight minutes left in the second period. 2-1 Avalanche. Right at the blue line. Hayden with the skate. Keeping it inside the blue line. Pass across. Oh, Parento is oh so close to tipping there. Cleared out by Dallas. Give to Eric Johnson. 
Cutting in, his shot caught against the chest by goaltender Kari Lettinen. 2-1 for the Avalanche. Nathan McKinnon has got a goal and came very close on a breakaway here in the second period. Winnipeg needed those two points. Staying right, trying to stay with the pack here in the Central Division. And you look at the Colorado Avalanche, how big is this game tonight? The two points, if they could get it in regulation, it would bump them to 45. A clear 10-point lead on those three clubs. Mike, the one thing you don't want to get into at the end of the year, where everybody in the division and the conference is involved in it. If you can take it down to, you know, eight, nine teams for eight spots, that'd be great. 7.20 to go in the period. Avalanche already with 29 shots in this game. They lead it 2-1. to one. Stasty taking the draw against Ben. Scramble for the faceoff. Avalanche have got it. That's by Landeskog to center ice. Stasty punched it across. Ben, hand off to Dillon. Pull back behind the Dallas net. Pass brought down the wing by Sagan. Centered in front for Juskin. That's blocked. Juskin again with a puck. If to Sagan. Long pass across Goligoski. Trying to get a little bit of room. Watched by Landeskog. Makes the pass. Juskin turns and shoots, and Varlamov is able to make the save and not allow a rebound. You're looking for a new car? See the new Kias at ColoradoKiaDealers.com. Discover the full lineup of stylish, dependable vehicles at ColoradoKiaDealers.com. Mike the Dow for the Dallas Stars. Mike, you've got a brand new uniform, brand new management team, brand new coaching staff. We're trying to change this personality of this club, and there's no question that Tyler Sagan trade has been a big boost for this Dallas Star, star team. He's a very, very talented player. 17 goals this season, a great assist on the Dallas goal tonight. Shot's good! Mm -hmm. Andre Benoit! He makes it 3-1, to one, Colorado. The defenseman with a second goal in an avalanche uniform. And Mike, between periods, we talked about this line and how it is going to work, how it's going to be effective. And you're going to see McKinnon's not going to get a point on this. But McKinnon's speed up the ice. Now people are scrambling to get in the right spot. Now Duchesne comes in. But look at O'Reilly. What, what did we talk about? O'Reilly reading the play. Mike. He read the play. He's that third guy in. The puck comes across right here. A little bit of a break right there. But Benoit bounces in. And the avalanche. McKinnon speed. Duchesne speed. O'Reilly read. Benoit jumping in. They get a goal. Second goal of the season, number 61, Andre Benoit. Another 30th shot of the game. Benoit makes it. 3-1 O'Reilly and Duchesne with the assist. Duchesne's second assist of the game. 42 seconds of the second period. Benoit from O'Reilly and Duchesne. Picked up Garrett to center right. Xavier. Pass in the slot. Connaughton has got a goal, sent it to the front, stopped by Barlamov. Centering try by Connaughton. Held in the blue line by Horkov. Flipped away by the Avs, down the ice into the Dallas zone. Mitchell, pass down the middle. And it banks back to the corner. 5.20 left in the period. Corey Sarch. And it blocked, and Benoit winds and shoots wide of the net, bounced out in front. Glaring attempt stays inside the zone. Sarge has got it. He turns, he shoots off the arm of Lettman, and he directs that puck out of play. Back with more play in the second period. Avalanche lead at 3-1. Let's see who is in the group. Brought to you by Groove Subaru and Corey Sarge. Keeps the streak going. It makes so often we're talking about the big names for the Avalanche, the high-scoring guys. But this is a very impressive streak. He has been good defensively. He has been solid for the Avalanche all season long. 
He, he, he eats up minutes 17, 18 at night. And now, Mike, look at him. He's got nine points on the season so far for the Colorado Avalanche. And his 30th game of the season for the Avs. At the red line, pushed ahead by Ryan Garbutt into the Colorado zone. Whitney after it. That's lead by two. McKinnon, Stasty, Benoit, score tonight for Colorado. They're not in four Dallas. Not sure. Sent off the side of the Dallas net. Way back up the wing. Whitney pushed the puck to center ice. Two on one develops. Barbet shot kicked away by Barlamov. Gonchard with a puck for Dallas. He shoots stopped again by Barlamo. Now it's pass to center for Benoit. Move the puck into the Dallas zone. Gunter's pass for Ben. It's Pope Jack Landeskog's pass. Jennifer Parento was tipped. That's a race to the corner. Benotton and Parento. Parento pass for Stasty. Back to the point for Johnson. Shoots wide, angles it in front into the crease, where it is covered by the goaltender Kari Lettinen. Oh, Eric Johnson, Mike. Did I saw his name on the list today. Stevie Eiserman. Now, Stevie Eiserman is that gentleman that's in charge of the Canadian Olympic Club. But just speaking to people around the league, Eric Johnson, who wasn't necessarily on a lot of people's lists early to make the Olympic Club, has worked his way onto. Mike, really high on that list. If he's not on it now, he's not far away. Well, it's not far away. The announcement expected to be at the end of this month. Lance got shot. Score! Stanley was in front. May have been a tip there. And it's 4-1 for Colorado. You have to wonder, maybe, Mike, a little bit, all the pressure that the Avalanche had in the first period. 21 shots on goal with all the stuff down low that they were working on. I think it hit the defenseman it, stick, didn't it, on the way? I'm not 100% not sure. Uh, it was definitely got up. I think it was it Dylan Tippett. But you, you wonder if, Mike, because of the altitude and whatever, letting it dropping on a couple of these shots, maybe getting a little bit tired. It is, Players have, have talked about how tough it is to catch your win here in Colorado. Scoring its second goal of the game, number 10 of the year, number 26. Paul well, they're giving it to Paul Stasby, his second goal tonight. Landis Scott, Parento get the assist. And the Avalanche lead by three. It's been all abs here in this second period. Money. Dancing now with four goals. Three games against the Dallas Stars this season. They have to play the Stars again tomorrow night. Back-to-back to back two goal games. Pass to McKinnon. Puck lands in the Dallas zone. Kolagoski shoots it through the middle zone. Blocked by Gannon at the blue line. Picked up and brought in down the slot. The Stars cleared. Not out. Nice play by Horkoff to hold it in. To the far side point. Shot by Connaughton. And that puck goes out of play. Well, 233 remaining in this in this the second period for the Avalanche. I'm not saying you don't need any more, but this is where you really play a smart last two and a half minutes of this period. You've got Dallas down by three. It's it's tough enough coming back by one. Never mind three goals. And they, you don't want to give them any life. So a really smart last five shifts of the period. There are, every shift now is about 30 seconds. Every one of them be the right way. Oh, 
Roussel's pass. Down the ice. Takes a bounce. Backhand saved by Barlamov. Starts to the red line. The puck into the Dallas zone. Kicked along the boards. By McLeod. So reaches in. Freed up by Dallas and punched out the center. Under two minutes left to go in the second period. Dark shoots it over the head of Lettman. Turn back behind the net and begin. To Mitchell. His pass slips away. Peverly. And he goes down to the ice and allows the ads to get the puck back. Then Peverly stole it back for Dallas. That's the red line. His pass toward the front of the net shot, and that's blocked. Again for the ads. Clanked it off the glass and got it out of the zone. Oligoski weaving his way in. Makes One. the pass for Whitney. Pass into the low slot, but there were three Avalanche players in the way. McKinnon bursts out the center ice. Then split through the defense. Dylan leaned into him. Blocked by O'Reilly, and the puck popped over the glass and out of play. Spend your holidays with the Avalanche. Pick any four games remaining this season. Get your pick of a signed mini helmet by Nathan McKinnon. Gabe Landeskog or Matt Duchesne. Package is started just $90. Find, the, find all that information out at coloradoavalanche.com. Now this is the offensive balance the Avalanche have been looking for of late. The big game in Winnipeg by Duchesne and his line mates. Tonight, Staffney and his line have had a real good offensive night. And that's when the Avalanche are going to be their most dangerous, when that balance is through the first two lines and then down through the rest of the club and the defense. And was pass. Returned by Atlanta Scott. Sent across for Sarch. Final 30 seconds of the period coming up. Olegoski drops the puck in the corner. Chuska. The Sagan. He busts out the center. Sends it over the line for Ben. Shot blocked by Benoit. And for Parento. Crisscross at the line with Stastny. With a trailer. Shot by Johnson. Saved by Lettinen. Back to Johnson. He shoots. Landis Scott with a tip in front. And the Avalanche lead it 5-1. It comes with a half a second left to go in the period. Great puck movement on this goal. And again, we talk about the Stastny line, Mike, moving the puck on this particular play. Parento coming across. Like, what a beautiful play all the way around. But credit Eric Johnson jumping up into the play. This is that shot from the point. Nice shot. I believe it was tipped, as you said, Michael, by Landeskog. The Avs certainly didn't quit on it, but boy, they moved the puck well in that sequence. Landis Gok should get credit for that goal. It'll be his 10th goal of the season, so the captain gets in on the scoring. And it comes with a half second left to go in the period. Well, that's about as good a period we've seen for the Avalanche in a walk. And, and part of it was, Mike, they finished. They've had some periods where they've had shots on goal, but tonight, they're finishing them. They're driving the net. There's been good passing. Benoit scored. Johnson got an assist in the last one. Defensive jumping up into the play. You're absolutely right. 34 shots on goal for the first two periods. Very impressive for the Avalanche. The Avalanche put in four goals during the second period. Stasty with a couple. Benoit Landis Gog with the others. 5 1 Avs. Next is the Subaru Intermission Report. Colorado Avalanche Hockey on Altitude is brought to you by Groove Subaru on Broadway or online at GrooveAuto.com. Pepsi, live for now. And by the Ford Super Duty. Built stronger, built better, built Ford tough. Avalanche 
with their most amount of goals in a period this season four during the second and now going to the third period lead the game five to one. After the first period we talked about the Matt Duchesne line and how prominent they were during that first period of play during the second period the Paul Stasty line took control of the game. Yeah and this is it boy, this is when the avalanche are tough to beat. When you get these two lines going, you, you're right now. They're saying Johnson scored the goal. Landis got just an assist. Stastny, two goals and assists in tonight's game. With Johnson getting the goal, Parento gets an assist, so he gets a couple of assists. But like more importantly, it was the idea of how they moved the puck, what they did when they were on the ice. There was good movement. Stastny gets the first one from Calvin McGinn, breaks a you know a streak for him. Then it was the Duchesne line. McKinnon now seven shots on goal, and then just good hard work. I mean, good passing, good movement, guys in front of the net. 34 shots on goal for the Avalanche up to this point in this hockey game, Mike. And again, it, it really is one of those games I think the Avalanche needed. I mean, we, we, we're, we're not over, but they needed a game where things went their way offensively. There's just been a lot of games where they've been just close but couldn't quite find that that big night. Stastny against Sagan for the faceoff to begin our third period. The Az leading it five to one. Your attention. Turned off to center ice. Scorer. Shot into the corner. Hayden will take the puck. Fifth goal. Bounce down to center ice. A vice by Landis Scott towards Parento. Thirty-four shots for Colorado, twenty-four for the Stars. They have to lead this game five to one. Trying to hold this lead through the rest of the period and win the first three games of the season against each other. Play again tomorrow night in Dallas. Johnson fast block. Cleared out to center ice. Stars have got it. Stars since the first period have been playing with just five defensemen. Rome was injured early in the game. And the Stars have been working through that. He can turn the puck behind the net. Chase off. Whipped it back around towards the near side. He can takes the puck. Way back to the point. Cannot shoots it. Go off the boards. Gunshire sends one to the front of the net. That blocked and taken away at the center ice. McKinnon sprinting in. He shoots and shot hot. Around the boards and out. Well, the, the one luxury that you do have, and it might work for both teams. You know, you might see Dallas push this, the pace early in this period, try to get back in the game. But for the Avalanche, you can roll all four lines, all six defensemen, set up tomorrow night with a smart third period. Pass to center, Goldogoski. Pass into the slot, tipped away. Dylan holds it in for Dallas. Shot on goal, and save made by Varlamov. Goligoski back for the puck. Around the boards for Dillon. Return back for Goligoski. Breakout begins for Dallas. A long pass to center ice. Barred in by Garvin. Shot blocked. Scoop to center ice. Talbot takes the puck. Over the line for Mitchell. He's in. He shoots high. Around the glass and out. Benoit scored a second goal of the season in the second period. Sent the puck to center. Bounced across for Sark. Sark shoots it around the boards of the Dallas zone. Juskin. That's behind the Colorado net. Wrap around try. Nice kick save by Barlamov. And then a steal by McLeod. Going on the rush by Cleach to his right. Goes that way with the pass. Shot on goal. Letton makes the stick save. Gunshot punches the puck up the board. Johnson holds the puck in. Pass to center. Sagan. Tip. Score! 
Tyler Sagan with his 18th goal of the season it makes it a five to two game. And like we won't be able to absolutely tell, but I think Natush can make set that this was a pass across to Sagan. I think this is a really a nice play by number 43. Watch and see what he does. Yeah, he lets up just enough to throw that thread that pass across and Sagan picks up his second point of the night. And his fifth point now against the Avalanche in the three games. And my goal, you know, lots of time left in this hockey game. So it'll be interesting to see how the Avalanche work these next three, four minutes of this game. Pass to center, Landeskog hooks the puck in. Look at our Kia scoring summary. Tyler Sagan, 18 goals to lead the Dallas Stars. Goal coming at 326. Tushkin gets the only assist on the goal. It's a 5 2 hockey game. Dallas goal. Scored by number one, Tyler Sagan, assisted by number four. Well, that goal by Johnson was just a couple seconds left in the second period, looming a little larger right now. Is it ever? Stastics had a big night for Colorado. And Talbot puts the puck across, shot by Hayda. Go off the backboard, smacked to the corner by the goaltender Lett. And flip to center. Purcell. Fight his way to the front of the net. Johnson was not going to let that happen. Purcell bounces off to Johnson. Trying to center a pass. Fans have got it. Mitchell to center ice. Back in into the corner. That an assist on the Sagan goal. Sergei Gonchar. Gonchar with 11th the assist of the season. That's five in the last two games for Gonchar. They had four against Winnipeg on Saturday night. Let's go! Whitney lifts the puck to center. They give to Ross for O'Reilly. His pass. Then for McKinnon. The pass. Dallas has not won a game this season when they've allowed five goals in that game. Back behind the net. Centering pass. Back towards Benoit. He shoots wide. Back up the board. Sarch banged it behind the net for Duchesne to take. We had a lot of penalties called. We had seven penalties called. First to 24 minutes to play, but since then both teams have played without any power plays. Ben turns the puck in front. Juskin was tied up, fights off a check. And Sarch cuts in front. He turns and shoots with a body. Ben gets the bouncing puck. O'Reilly on him. Ben trying to fight his way to the front. O'Reilly, nice defensive play, didn't let it happen. Ben comes back into the avalanche zone. Dropped it off. Machuska cuts in front. Comes free. Shot missed by Gulagoski. And it rolls out to center ice. Another good example of Natushka, Mike, just what he can do with the puck. He, he just comes across the middle, seemingly impossible to take it away. Sagan's pass and into the Colorado zone. Gronshaw immediately turns it across. Plays on, dancing back into the Dallas zone. 13 minutes remaining in the period. Plays on in the slot. Shot by Cole goes wide. He can the Golagoski coming down the middle. Pass, tip, save, rebound, it covered by Varlamov. Big save there for Varlamov. Tyler Sagan. Giving the Dallas Stars a little life here in the third period. I always like to answer our did you know question here during the third period. Stevenson Automotive bringing you the question and now the answer. How many Stanley Cup champions are playing in tonight's game? And the answer is seven. Congratulations, Connor, for knowing it. That seven players in this game have won a Stanley Cup. First, Corey Sarge with the Tampa Bay Lightning. J.S. Jaguar. 
with the Anaheim Ducks. The year that they were dominant against the Ottawa Senators. Gear will be in nest tomorrow night for the Colorado Avalanche. At least that was the plan as of yesterday. Bortolo's pass to center, Gunshard, the red line, shoots the puck back in. Centering pass. Comes over to Bortolo. And Barry flicked it back up the boards to center ice. Moving through center, Cody McLeod, shot on goal, save, rebound, kick saved by Lennon, rebound shot, and that goes through the crease on the chance by Cleese. Block, that hit McLeod in front of the net. Shot misses. Now we are down now to 12 minutes remaining in the third period. That's up five to two. The give to Ben. Ben what does his best to hold him up. And Parento got a pair of assists in this game. Pass for Stasky. Back to Sarge. And Sarge pass to center for Stasky. Hand off. Landis Scott coming in wide. Shot off the stick of Lettman. Parento put it right back to the front of the net. And that's tipped by the goaltender. Out of play. Well, the one thing that Mark andre Cleese has not done for the, for the Avalanche is get that first NHL goal. He's not going to get much closer than that. But this fourth line for the Avalanche, like that in talking to each one of them, they all know what they bring to the Avalanche. The one thing that Cleese really adds is a good penalty kill. He and Talbot have really combined since Talbot joined the Avalanche as a real good penalty killing pair for the Avalanche and done a terrific job picked up on waivers before the season started from the LA Kings. Duchesne taking the face off. Goligoski for Dallas. Checked by O'Reilly. Cuts across. Pass for McKinnon who was set up for the one timer. It got tipped away. O'Reilly. Lost the puck to Goligoski. Makes the pass. Shays on. Farika trying to go wide. Stop. Centers in front. And landed in the crease. Dylan shoots on goal. Hit the chest of Varlamov. McKinn peels away. Got hit by Goligoski. But a two on one for the Avalanche. And Duchesne shoots. And that hit letting it. It was a two on one. And then the defenseman for Dallas came off the bench. Centering pass. Barry Pug checked away by Goligoski. Goligoski's pass. And out to center ice for Garvin. Avalanche regained possession. Begins pass across for Talbot. And McGinn pass to the far corner to the point for Barry. Tip by McGinn, but the puck goes wide. Mike, good three or four minutes for the Avalanche. Calming thing down, getting that puck into the Dallas zone. Barry back ends it around. Talbot. Give to Mitchell. Pass out to center ice. The Avalanche up to 41 shots that they have had this season. Most goals they've had in a period. Four during the second, most shots in a game. They've had five goals against the Blackhawks, six goals against Anaheim in the opener this season. But That's the most they've had in yeah. the game. EA Parento's had a couple of assists in this one. His team leads it five to two. What's on tap? Brought to you by Coors Light as always. Join us again tomorrow night from Dallas. Game two of this home and home series. We'll start our coverage at 6 o'clock on Altitude 2. And by the way, there is a new channel number for those of you who will be watching on Comcast. You'll want to tune to channel 900. That's tomorrow night. Lindy Ruff. See what he can do for his club tomorrow night. And try to rebound. The Avalanche are in control of this one, leaning at 5-2. In the third period with 9.30 to go. In his first year as a head coach for the Dallas Stars after spending a lot of time as the head coach of the Buffalo Sabres. We're going to stop in the action.
Avalanche leading by three in the third. We would be remiss to not congratulate old friend coach Joe Quinville, who last night, Mike, tied Pat Quinn for the fourth most wins in the regular season in the history of this league. Of course, Patrick Waugh, part of that Stanley Cup club in 95-96, where Joe Quinville so artfully handled the defenseman. Peter, earlier we uh, asked our did you know question. Shot by McLeod, blocked. I'll tell you what, we've got some great viewers because he said the answer was seven players involved tonight won Stanley Cups, right? So well, our viewers said, no, that's wrong. Here's a breakaway chance for Cleese, and he shoots, and it's tipped away. Actually, Peter, it's eight. We forgot somebody. And that would be Max Talbot for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Yes. Why well, we got some smart viewers. Thank you for uh, watching and paying attention. We'll still allow Connor to be the winner, though, right? All right. From the center ice, get it. Drills it in the corner. Duchesne shoots. Drops back behind the net. Pass up ice. To the red line. Block. Duchesne for Colorado. About eight minutes left to go. We're going to have our first penalty since early in the second period. Going against Dallas. Let's get power play number four. This would kind of be, Mike, that perfect type ending for the Avalanche. They can get a power play goal here to sort of break that particular situation. Well, Cleish has another golden opportunity. And letting him make it, Mike. I think that bounced off maybe the shaft of his, or the, the handle of his stick. Dallas penalty. Number 16, Ryan Garbett. Ryan Garbett. Two minute minor penalty for hooking. And power play number four for the Avs, 0 for 3 tonight. But they lead it 5 to 2. Landon Scott tips the puck, goes wide, flat, and nasty. Two goals in this game, has the puck, pass across for Tyson Barry. Over to Benoit. Back to Barry, one time. That's slowed up by Roussel. Go, 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 Turned around the boards. Carried out to center ice. By Dillon, and the defenseman for Dallas backhands it in. Have start their breakout halfway through this power play. Carito gains the blue line. Kept in, and there's going to be another penalty on Dallas. The puck is touched, and with 47 seconds left in the garbage penalty, Avalanche will get their second five-on-three opportunity of the game. The Avalanche have just kept pressing here in this third period. I was interested to see after that 5-2 goal which way they would go, and they have really done a nice job of just keeping the pressure on the Dallas Stars. She's on in the box. Penalty, number 12, Alex Two minutes for cross-checking. A cross-checking penalty. penalty. Yeah. Another five on three five on three power play chair. Johnson shot. Juggled and then cleared out by Dallas. Benoit hands it on to McKinnon, slides away from him, and Letton really sends it down the ice. You want a, just a little note, Mike? There's somebody else that we missed. So there's nine. There's nine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It, 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 it's going to grow. The list is just going to keep growing. We, we didn't even talk about Alex Tangy, who is not playing tonight. But Goligoski was on Pittsburgh when they won the Cup, and his name is on the Stanley Cup. 
All right. Who's, who's, making, up, who's doing these trivia questions? Uh, uh, Another one pops up. That's it. <laughs> McKinnon has the puck. Handoff. Shot by Johnson. Gets blocked. Backhanded out to center ice. Here's a breakaway chance. Garvin in. Save! Made by Barlamov. That's the second breakaway chance for Dallas that Barlamov has made the save on in this game. Well, the Avs and not able to score on that five on three opportunity. So there goes the perhaps the Joe Quenville's theory. If you don't score on the five on three, the Avs didn't do it twice. You're not going to win the game. Yep. The Avs are on their way with five minutes left to go. Barring a, something crazy happening. And not scoring on two five on three chances that were fairly long, a minute 22 and one that was 49 seconds. Pass in the slot, knocked down. Barry scores! Tyson Barry, his first of the season. And that makes it six to two. Now, well, Michael, you know, whoops. People will look at this and go, ah, 6-2, way to go for the Avalanche, of course. But let's not forget Varlamov, the breakaway. Had this one gone in, Mike, we would have had some nervous people in this building in a 5-3. Instead, it will not be a power play goal. But Tyson Berry, Mike, and I have watched him work so hard all at practice, trying to make shots, shots on net, shots on net, shots on net, wrist shots, slap shots, finally. Finally, he gets a break and one goes in, and the Avalanche make it 6 2. Fourth point of the season, first goal. Parento gets his third assist of the game, and Stasny, that's his fourth point tonight. He's got two goals and two assists. The Avalanche are up 6 2 on their way to their 22nd victory of the season. Assisted by number 15 we we'll go to 45 points. Time the goal, 10 ahead of the Dallas Stars. Back to the point. Starch shoots it around the board. Bounces behind the net. And the Avalanche will improve it here at home to 11, 5, and 1. And it'll be three wins now against the Dallas Stars this season. Shushkin. Skating through center ice. Picked away by Talbot. Puts it back out to center by the Stars. Shot in from center ice by Hayden. Turned around the glass. Johnson holds the puck in momentarily. Sagan will carry to center ice. Pass over the line for Ben. Back to Sagan. It bounced on Barlamov. It did not go in. Talbot through center. Checked at the blue line. Then a steal by McGinn. Dropped it back. Shot. Kicked out by Lettinen on that chance by John Mitchell. Played back to the point. Johnson's shot. Caught by Lettinen. The Avalanche have added a goal from Tyson Berry. Here in the third period, they lead 6-2. to two. Here's your chance to win some game tickets, compliments of Excel Energy. You can get your power meter number and go to altitude.tv. Then you click on the Excel Energy icon, get some energy saving tips, and then enter for a chance to win tickets. No purchase is necessary. You can see the official rules at altitude.tv. Well, for the Avalanche. Some highlights tonight, Paul Stastny's four points, the most since uh, 2009 the game at Florida, P.A. Parento has tied his career high with three assists. Tyson Berry getting his first goal of the season. Barlamov will win his 15th game this year. Riley's pass to center. Just 2.45 left to go in this game. Is waved off. The clock continues. 
Cotton's bagged out to the center for Peverly. Bounced off the Bordalo. Might get Benoit's. If the score holds off as it is, or at least Dallas doesn't score another goal, Benoit's goal will be the game winner. And it'll be the first game winning goal by a defenseman this year for an avalanche. So just another real positive thing. Couple of goals by defensemen in tonight's game. That's to a large total of different players this season that had game winning goals for the avalanche. Bill Wessel got a penalty called. 202 left to go in a 6-2 game and calling a penalty. Going on Corey Sarge. 16 red, two minutes interference. It's an interference penalty. Well, Sarge started the game with a penalty you know, for holding as a man who's breaking by him, and he's not going to be happy with that. Up at 17.58, interference penalty. Power play number five for Dallas. They are zero for four. So combined, that's ten power play chances in this game. Pass in front, blocked by Barlamov. Got his stick down on the ice, blocked that cross pass. Sagan in the slot. Shades on to the corner for Whitney. Up the boards for Ben. Fights off McLeod, makes a pass for Sagan. Pass tip wide. Ben trying to throw it back out in front. Around the puck. Soft pass back up the boards for Sagan. Tip but kept in by Whitney momentarily. And then Mitchell with strong play. And then send the puck back on the Dallas zone. We mentioned Cleish and Talbot. McLeod and Mitchell have again also since the start of the year formed a great one forward combination killing penalties. Down to the last minute of the game. Save made by Barlamo. We have seen, is my math correct here? At 80 shots in this game. Combined. 81 now. We've added another one to the stars. 48 yeah. shots for the Avalanche, 33 for Dallas. Oh, it, it has been the kind of offensive game that we expected these two clubs to play, but tonight the results were there for the Avs. Benoit brings up the puck, shoots it around the glass, Goldogoski. They're one of the bright stars tonight for Dallas. Get it? He got into the corner. Wow. <laughs> Scooped around, 10 seconds left to go. And the crowd on their feet, standing ovation for the effort tonight. The Avalanche, 48 shots, six goals, and they beat the Dallas Stars in the first of this home and home series. Barlamov with his 15th win, making 31 saves tonight. And Colorado now with 45 points, 10 ahead of Dallas. 10 ahead of Dallas, 10 ahead of Nashville, 10 ahead of Winnipeg. Double digits this far into the season, Mike, a very good sign for the Avalanche. Well, that feels good for the Avalanche, and now they got a chance tomorrow night to continue this against the Stars again. 3-0 this season against Dallas. Great player tonight, Stasty, four points, Parento, three assists. Barry gets his first goal. Three different defensemen scored tonight for the Avalanche. Barry, Johnson, and Benoit all scoring for Colorado tonight, including the game winner by Andre Benoit. Well, the Avalanche jump on a plane, head down to Dallas. Short celebration here tonight. All right, as the Avs head off into the locker room, why don't we listen in for the announcement of tonight's Coors Molson three stars of the game. Tonight's three stars of the game selected by Ryan Bolding of Mile High Sports. Tonight's third star from the Avalanche with two assists, number nine, Matt Duchesne. Tonight's second star from the Avalanche with 31 saves in the win, number one, Semyon Barlamov. And 
am tonight's first star of four point night with two goals and two assists. Number 26, Paul Stastny. Our number one star is with Julie Brumman. Paul, we knew these two teams could score, but wow, did you guys get it done tonight? Yeah, it's been a while. I think we're struggling a little bit to score offensively, so it was nice to get uh, six on the board tonight. What happened in that second period? You guys scored four goals. They come in bunches, you know? Sometimes you're not scoring and sometimes you do, and uh, we just go to the net hard, create our chances, and kind of got a first couple of goals, and then kind of just cut off the energy. This game is all about confidence, and you guys talk about that a lot. What will this kind of game do for you guys? Oh, it's only one game. I think we play them tomorrow, so tomorrow hopefully we get right back, right back at work and, you know, finish off the home-and-home -home sweep. How does it set the tone for tomorrow night in Dallas? We'll be ready. I think uh, tonight was fun. I think crowd had a good night, so we'll be ready for tomorrow. Thanks, Paul. Four points for Paul Stastny, guys. All right, thanks very much, Julie. What an effort tonight from Paul Stastny leading the way with those two goals and two assists, and the Avalanche win it 6-2. to two. Please join us again tomorrow night. We'll be in Dallas. Now, let's continue our coverage and go to the studio for the AutoNation Toyota Locker Room Report.